Good morning, everybody. I brought some friends to worship with me today, and we'll tell a little story about our friends. So the children who are here, come on up. Come on up where you'd like to sit, and we're going to learn about two very special guests we have in church today. And you're going to love them. They're best of friends. They're, they're in the neighborhood here. And I'll tell you a little story about them when we get settled in. These are my special friends who came to worship. This is Rhonda the Rabbit. Rhonda the Rabbit came to say hello. And this is Tom the Turtle. So we have Rhonda the Rabbit, Tom the Turtle. They're very good friends. I'm happy they took me up on my invitation. I said, will you come to church one of these Sundays, and well, it's a beautiful day, and they said, yeah, we're going to come to church. We're going to be involved, right? But let me tell you a story about Rhonda the rabbit and Tom the turtle. Now, Rhonda the rabbit does everything quickly. She's always in a hurry. She's jumping here, jumping there, getting this done, racing against time. I'm late. I'm late for a very important date, and she's running around all over the place. Now, Tom the turtle is the opposite. Tom takes everything Nice and slow. Now, they each had a homework assignment at school. And what do you think Rhonda did? Rhonda the rabbit, oh, I'm going to rush through that homework assignment. I'm going to do it really fast. But Tom said, I'm going to take my time on the homework assignment. There's no need to rush through it. Guess what Rhonda did? She made a lot of mistakes. She made a lot of mistakes because she was rushing through her homework assignment. But Tom, he was careful, and he took his time, and he had a perfect paper. How do you like that? Well, one day, they each decided to build a house. Now, what do you think Rhonda the rabbit decided? Oh, I'm going to build that house really fast. I'm going well, to put those two-by-fours up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to nail those two-by-fours. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Now, what do you think Tom the turtle said? Slow down. And he built a house. Now, Rhonda's house began to fall apart because she didn't take the time to think about what she was doing. She rushed through the job, didn't measure anything, just slapped up the, the sheetrock and all this. But Tom the turtle, now, he took his time and he thought about what was going on and he did everything just right. Well, I have another story about these two. One day... Rhonda the rabbit said, let's have a race and see who's going to win the race. Now, Rhonda said, I'll race you from here to Route 80. That's about four or five miles down the road. And that's what Rhonda rabbit said. I'll race you to Route 80. Now, which one of you, uh, who do you think is going to win the race? The, the really fast rabbit or the really slow turtle? Which one do you think won the race? What do you think, Patrick? Rhonda the rabbit is really fast, really, really fast. What do you say, Levi? You, you say Rhonda the rabbit? Yeah, we all think Rhonda the rabbit's going to win. Cadence, what do you think? The turtle, good guess. All right, well, let's see what happened. They, they went out on a race, and, that, and of course, Rhonda's always in a hurry. She shoots out in the front. She's way ahead. She's way ahead, way ahead. And the race goes to Route 80. Well, there's, there's a place called the barn just before you get to Route 80. And Rhonda was so far ahead, she goes, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have lunch at the barn. I'm going to chill out. I don't have to cross the finish line. Tom is way back there. There's no way he's going to catch me. No way he's catching up. Well, guess what? After lunch, Rhonda got tired and she took a little nap. Guess what happened? Tom caught up with Rhonda, and Tom passed Rhonda, and Tom went to the finish line first. And they interviewed Tom, and they said, what's your secret? And you know what he said? Slow and steady wins the race. Now, what does that tell you? It says that time is a gift from God. God gives us all this time. And why should we rush through everything? Maybe we should take a lesson from Tom the turtle. Maybe we should take our time. Maybe we should do things carefully and do them right the first time. You don't have to rush through your games. You don't have to rush through your homework assignments. Take your time and do it right. And take time to be with your family. And take time to be with your friends. Don't be rushing through life like, the, like this rabbit. You don't have to do that. 
Time is a gift from God. Can we pray about how we're going to use our time? Do you have a question, Patrick, or do you have another story about these two? That's a great, did you hear that? That is a great answer. Only if you're late do you have to rush. And that happens to me all the time when I'm late and I'm in a hurry. I'm driving my car and somebody in front of me is going really, really slow. And I'm late to begin with. What do you think, Levi? Right, the rabbit wants to go fast all the time. So here's the point. You don't have to do everything quickly. You can take your time, make sure you do it right. Don't, and, and, and that's another thing. Don't ever make fun of people who are slow because that's the way they want to do it. You know, If they want to do things slowly, you don't make fun of them. You don't say, hey, what's the matter with you? What's taking so long? Da, 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 da. But you can just say, this is the way we live, you know, okay? So take time to enjoy your life. Take time to enjoy time with God. Enjoy Sunday school. Enjoy the time we have for the next 45 minutes, okay? Is that good? All right, let's thank God. Let's pray together. Let's pray for the gift of time and how we use it. Lord, we thank you for the gift of time. We all have the same amount of time every day. We all have the same 24 hours. So help us to take our time and, and thank you for our time so that we can use our time wisely. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, I want you to take this time now to go to Sunday school. So have a good time. You can go follow Mrs. Osterhout and the, t and the staff. Have a really good time in Sunday school. All right? Okay. Good seeing you today.